Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I am back because I have been asked this question numerous times. Apparently people are just not getting it or going back to, you know, look at some of my previous videos where I explain this in detail. But first, I want to thank you guys for the great comments that I've been getting on the last several videos. Now, we recently showed you all the results of the new Precision Colors, the C42 but signature edition version of that ink set for the Pro 100, of course. And again, I was impressed by it and apparently so have you. And I'm getting some really nice comments and one of which was a person just recently showed prints done by OEM inks and the PC 42 SE ink set. Showed it to about 10 person and eight out of the 10 chose the precision colors print. And that included two professional photographers. So that speaks for itself. Now, what do you have to do? What do you have to do to start enjoying this ink set? Well, there are you know many ways to approach this and some of them are not as good as others. Now, consider this before you even ask. It is not cheap to get into color printing at home, especially when you're gonna switch over from OEM to a third party choice and you're doing this simply because you wanna save money, well, it's gonna cost you from the get go some money to be able to switch over, especially to something as good as these inks that we are now enjoying. It's not as easy as simply taking your single set of cartridges that you have in your Pro 100, the ones that the printer came equipped with and thinking that you're gonna flush these and then you know refill them with your uh, brand new precision color signature edition ink set uh no that's not going to happen easily you know why it takes days it takes days for the cartridge to dry to a sufficiently low moisture condition between 13.6 sometimes 0.5 to maybe close to 14. 14 is getting a little bit iffy because it will have some water still in it in the form of tiny droplets and that will simply dilute your inks. Not only that, it will actually sort of block the impregnation of the sponge by the new inks. So why do you want to do that? Why do you want to flush? Of course, it's best to flush, but I'm going to give you the best way to approach this. Don't do yours. Don't do yours. I just recently, on my testing that I had to perform, loaded a brand new set of OEM cartridges on the printer. I let it run a cleaning cycle so that I could be assured that what I am then printing with is nothing but OEM ink. Now, I want to switch over to then PC inks. How do I know that I'm going to be running 100% PC inks and not just a mixture of, say, me adding PC inks to whatever is left of my OEM ink cartridges. That would be ridiculous. You're mixing two inks. I cannot absolutely guarantee that there won't be some reaction between the two. More than likely not. But worse than that, you'll be mixing two types of ink. OEM is always top, top best. Anything that you use down the road is going to be second best. We wanna get as close to first quality as we can. So that's why we're using these things. But I still do not recommend that you mix partially used CLI 42 cartridges and then top them off with these new inks. That makes no sense. It will take approximately three total refills for you to fully get rid of the OEM ink. So what's the best way to go? Well, I have now a link on my description. What, you don't read my descriptions? If you don't, Really, I, I think I'm gonna cry. I take some time to write these out and below the actual video description, in other words, what it is about, right below are links. And one of those links will take you over to the eBay site that sells the pre-modified and flush cartridges ready to go. What, another $60? Well, yeah, that's what you have to pay in order to get into this refilling business and start correct from the beginning. The best way is to start with a virgin empty flush cartridge. Fill it with the new inks that you want to use. 
I don't care if they're not PC either. But if you want to be able to then enjoy whatever quality that Inkset provides you, you have to start with a brand new flush set of cartridges. Otherwise, you will never really know because you will have a mixture. And then with every refill, you will change even more bit by bit until finally at some point, maybe three to four refills later, and I mean complete refills later, then you can actually claim that what you're seeing is the result of that particular ink set. You get what I mean? So it's best to start with an empty, flushed, and dried properly set of cartridges. You load them with the new inks, and now you can claim absolutely 100% you are using PC inks, Ink Owl inks, Ink Republic, inkjetcards.us. We all know which ones are the best because you've seen my videos already on that. So take that to the bank. You need to spend not only the money on the inks, the resetter, but please, please consider starting with a brand new set of cartridges that have been flushed and dried properly. And of course, modified, ready to go with the good clips and the good plugs. That is what I would highly recommend that you guys do. And believe me, I'm not getting a penny worth of benefit from linking you to that person's eBay store. This is just my opinion. Now, if you have a second set of empties, then sure, go ahead and while you're using your OEM cartridges, because remember, it's going to take you two to three days to do this, go ahead and practice flushing. Practice modifying and flushing your cartridges and then air drying them. Again, depending on what you do to air dry them, it will either take one single day if you use a desiccator or a food dehydrator and place them in there. And in about a day, they'll be ready to be refilled. But if you're just leaving them on a table with maybe a fan blowing, it might be a number of days, three to four days before they reach the proper weight or the proper dryness for you to be able to refill them. So again, the best way, I keep saying that over and over, is to buy a set of already ready to be used cartridges. Okay? Believe that. Let me remind you guys what these things are capable of doing. This is PC Signature Edition inks. Have a look at that beta fish. That thing looks better than it did when it was shot. Have a look at that. Look at the colors. Look at the intensity. And again, you might say, well, any ink set can produce bright colors. Well, yes and no. Take a look at these colors right here. These are a lot more subdued and more delicate. Not like these here. But it can handle all aspects of the color distribution of your particular images quite well. And of course, I showed you the shocking discovery that I made that this ink also performs great on matte paper. Boy, I almost fell over in a faint when I saw these results come out. And this, I believe, is just simply using the OEM profile. Now, some of you have asked, here's a black and white, by the way, neutral throughout, okay? Again, hits it out of the ballpark. Some of you have asked, well, have you tested any of PC's own ICC profiles? The answer is no, I have not. At this point, I've only tested my own profile that I made, and I uploaded that to my Facebook group. Speaking of the Facebook group, some people just don't do Facebook. So the only way that I can provide right here, I keep losing where I put it, this image for you to test anything on any printer is to download it from the Facebook group or drop me a line and I will link you to my Dropbox. You better be able to do one or the other because this is a 50 megabyte file and I cannot possibly email it to you. There is an original site, but it doesn't belong to me. So I will not lead you to that site. I'm going to lead you to mine, of course. And when you join the Facebook group, you will not only have access to that, image but many others as well as custom profiles that i have created and i'm giving away for free currently i have the profile that i created for that particular matte paper from canon 
and uh, it's there for free. It works gorgeously as long as you have the PC42 SE ink set, and you have started with a clean set of cartridges. You're not going to get the results you might be expecting if you have a partially mixed set. In other words, maybe your cartridges were about a third, you know, full from empty, and you went ahead and topped them off. No, 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 not good. You need to start from fresh. You could always take those partially used cartridges, store them, put the clips on them, store them because on a rainy day you might need to use those okay so they're not going to waste just put them away just as I did I got them where did I have right there on the floor with the rest of the bottles I have the complete OEM set that I removed once I got done with my testing and also I went ahead and posted a OEM printed and also PC42 SE printed on Pro Luster standard image the ones that I showed you in the video, that's why I couldn't find them here. They're up on my wall right now. They're going to sit there for one year. And this morning I realized that, oh, there's a lot of sunlight hitting these. So they're up on the wall. We're going to see in a year what the difference is. And hopefully I will be able to print a brand new example of it with the PC inks and then compare it. The OEM one should not fade one iota. I hope. If it does, that would be kind of hilarious, wouldn't it? Because, you know, the claims that they make. But again, I'm displaying the prints on my wall next to the east-facing window. Not really optimal. That's not what they recommend, even for OEM. So we will just see. Highly unscientific testing, but actually real-world testing. One year, and then I'll go ahead and check them. If there's a difference, so be it. You can always reprint that image, okay? Again, these are not for you to be selling to anyone. If you want to sell prints to anyone, OEM is what you should uh, honestly use. Unless you absolutely tell your customer that you're using a third-party ink. And then you have to charge them accordingly. A lot less than you would for OEM. All right. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.